to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am Katie and this is my eight-year-old daughter, Grace. Hi. And today we've got something really different for my channel, but something really exciting. We are going to be showing you the brand new book by Rob Biddulph and he has done a draw with Rob. You might have seen him during lockdown. He was doing live streams on Facebook that you could draw with Rob and he is great at showing you how to draw different things really easily. You might already be familiar with some of his books and we have a couple of them here. We have got Dinosaur Juniors, Happy Hatch Day, and Show and Tell, which we really like that one because it's just like Show and Tell at school, isn't it? You yeah. like those two. They're some of our favorites, aren't they? Yeah. So, how it works is it's sort of a how-to book. Starts you off with, you will need. So we've got everything that it said, some coloring pencils, we've got pencils, pens, pencil sharpener, and a rubber, should we need it? And then it takes you through drawing some of the characters from each of his books. So this one is from Happy Hatch Day. And this is Gregosaurus. And so as you can see, it gives you step by step on how to make your very own Gregosaurus picture. It's also got some games that you can do. It's got a, can you match up? So can you find a Cocker Spaniel? Can you find a Cocker Spaniel? I don't know what a Cocker Spaniel looks like. Uh, you do. I think that's a, meant to be a Cocker Spaniel. Mm. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. Let's see. A Labrador. That's easy. Yeah. Uh, an Airedale Terrier. Mm. Well, I don't know. That maybe one? that one? Maybe that. Oh, that's going to be a Scotty dog, maybe. This one? I don't know. So you have to work out all the different dogs. So that's a fun game to play. And then there are also some nice colouring pages as well. So if you're not in the mood for drawing, you can do some co uh, nice colouring. So we've got some odd dog out and it says, Here in Glamorous Doggy Wood, every day is a chance to be the brightest and most colourful you can be. No one knows that better than this odd dog. But her friends need some help. Can you colour them in and brighten their day? So look, it's got doggy wood instead of Hollywood. And then once you have gone through the whole book with all the different activities, it says this is to satisfy that Grace. Or you. Or me is officially an ace artist. So there we go. So you put the date and Rob has signed it for you there. So you get a nice certificate. And all the pages have got perforated lines as well so you can um, take out any of the drawings that you have done. So what we'd like for you to do is to join in with us. So we're going to go through some of the pictures in the book, some of the pages. So we're gonna start off with Gregosaurus. And we would love if you did the step-by-step -step with us, wouldn't we? So yeah. we're going to do it, the two of us. I'll have a go. Grace is going to have a go. And we'd love it if you joined in too. So we will do the step-by-step -step instructions with you. And then you can pause it at any point if you think, oh, I'm not, I haven't quite caught up. Pause it, hit play as soon as you're ready, and by the end you will have a lovely Gregosaurus and we're going to do a few of them to show you the sorts of things that you can do if you buy the book yourself. So we're going to use pens just so that they show up on camera for you, but you could use pencils if you're not sure and then at least you can rub it out if you make a mistake, but we're going to try our best. Yeah. <laughs> and if it goes wrong, it really doesn't matter. You can just start all over again. Okay, so we're going to start off with down the bottom okay. his little, one of his little legs. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're just going to do a little leg like a little U. down the bottom, like a little U. That's exactly right. Are oh, you doing him real small, are you? That's fine. And then we're going to do a curve. For his tummy up like that. Perfect, I love it. Okay, so then you're gonna go, you're gonna do another C, that shape, but instead of just doing it in line with that, like a curve like that, you're gonna go slightly over again, past the foot and down. So if I if I so we go round, so this is his head up, round and down like that. So then the next stage is we're going to come down, scoop out for a tail, and then join up here. So down, 
out for a tail and then join up to his foot like that. Okay. Down, scoop out for a tail. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, <laughs> so now got another little foot. Okay. Exactly the same, but just under his tummy like that. And then we're going to have one arm just sticking out from where his head is there. And then another arm just sort of just there. Perfect. And, and now he's got little claws. So I think it's just four little claws. One, two, three, four. And three one, on the feet. One, two, three, four. And is it three on the feet? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Like little eyelashes. So now we're going to draw his mouth. So from where this line is, we're going to bring it in and up a little bit like that. Like a little cheeky smile. Nice. And then I think we'll do the eye. So yeah. sort of where the end of the mouth is, leave a gap and draw a nice big circle like that. And then a little circle in the middle like that for his eye. Perfect. And then he's got a little eyebrow there. Mm -hmm. And then a swirly nose. So just do do a dot like that. And then take a little swirl out like that. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so that's all his body done. Now he's a little stegosaurus. The Gregosaurus, but he's a stegosaurus. So we need to draw some of his plates. Okay, now if you don't end up having exactly the same, I don't imagine it matters, but let's start the first one. And it's sort of, a, it's a pentagon shape, really. One, two, like a crown, and then a triangle top, like that. Mm, one, and then two, one, three. two, and a triangle top like that. And then, yeah, it has got one, two, three. My head's a bit one, big, so I'll need more. Three. That's fine, or draw them bigger. Although you can't now, it'll look a little bit odd, but it doesn't matter. So one, two, and then a triangle top like that. And then one, two, and a triangle top. One, two, and a triangle top. One, two, triangle top. And then one, two, and a triangle top. And then just draw the lines. Remember, this is your drawing, so if yours looks slightly different, that's completely okay. It doesn't have to be the same as ours. Mine looks different to Grace's. Mine's tinsy. Yeah, and mine's got a giant nose, and that's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. So keep going until you've got one just sort of on his tail like that. And then once you've done that, you do one, two spikes on that side, two on that side and then all we need to do is draw some little dots One, two, three, just his little four. that's it okay. and then he's just got little dots down his back there just some of his markings as a little dinosaur like that there we go he is cute then all you have to do is colour him in. And there's two colours that you need here if you want to do them exactly the same, which is green for his body and orange for his plates. But of course, this is your picture. If you want to do him pink with red or blue with purple, it's up to you. So I'm going to start to colour him in. We're going to speed this up. So... You can press pause while you colour yours in and then join us when we're ready for the next picture. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. And then you can write your name down the bottom there. Gregosaurus by Grace. H. Let me show you what we've done. So there's my Gregosaurus, and there's Grace's Gregosaurus, and they're slightly different, but they are the same. 
I'm really proud of myself. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. That was super easy, but it looks so good, doesn't it? So the next one we're going to try is just one that's really cute. It's Kevin from the book Kevin. And I mean, he's just the cutest little thing. And I just, I, I adore him. Um, we don't know that story, but it really makes me want to go and get the book. So um, that's the next one. So if you want to find that page. So for this one, you're going to draw the outline first and then you're going to need some yellow and pink if you are drawing a true to life yeah. Kevin. There you go. That's cute. It is cute. I just love his little tooth. Okay, so. He looks fluffy. He does look fluffy. Well, he has because that's, that's the lines around the outside is going to be fluffy. So, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So. First of all, we're going to draw his head, but you need to make sure you leave space for the body underneath. So you maybe want to do use the head the in this space, use the top bit. And it's not just a circle. You've got the jaggedy, jaggedy lines around that side and that side, but the top is quite, quite neat. The but then jaggedy, jaggedy, jaggedy like that. Okay, okay. so the top and the bottom. So I'm going to think, okay, it's going to be about that size. So I'm going to do the top, like that, and then, yeah, oh, it's a little bit tricky, this one, down, 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 oh, nice, and then, this is where you might want to do yours in, oh! Oh my goodness, look how he's got a funny face. That's okay. It's <laughs> okay. Mine's going this straight. is why you might want to use a pencil because you can rub it out if it makes a mistake, but mine's it's fine. Round, straight, <laughs> he's got he's a bit of a rectangle head, and mine, he's like pointing his chin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna draw he's got a really wide smile, so right from the edge all the way. And I'm going to go with mine. I'm going to turn it into, like, it's my own drawing. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then his eyes are right at next. each end of his thing. So little circle there. Little circle there. And then a dot in the middle like that. <laughs> See, yours is looking better than mine now. He's got a real funny <laughs> chin. Okay, so he's got sort of... Um, I don't know what sort of, what expression has he got there with those eyebrows like that? Uh, like, happy. not confused. Happy. He's sort of just calm, isn't he? He's calm and happy, yeah, I would say so. So quite uh, nice eyebrows, because eyebrows can make all the difference. If you did them the other way, he'd look really cross. Um, mm -hmm. so there, and a happy. little a little tuft of hair at the top there. Oh, so three doing, little doing. bits like that, tuft of hair. It looks like a carrot sprout. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and then he's got his tooth. Like that. There we go. Your tooth looks better than mine. Well, I don't know. I think yours looks better than mine. But there we go. Right, now he's got a little, little body. Around like that. Make sure to leave room for the, the legs. Now his, the next bit is his arms. Now his arms come out of his body here because sort of they're behind him to his neck here so you're going to go round and then up to his neck like that round and up to his neck like that i've got one arm shorter than the other well never mind maybe <laughs> one's leaning forward Head and then two little square legs like that okay so now the final touches is his markings and he's got spots. a spot so he's got one that goes from this side of his hair to just where his eyebrow is so half, a half circle like that and then another one over this side just a smaller one like that and then he's got a little one which I'm going to press really gently that goes under his mouth and I'm just going to press real gentle. Why? Well, because I'll colour it in afterwards and I don't want it to be too... I don't want it to look like a part of his tooth so I want to press really gently. 
And then he's got one on his arm on that side. Don't like forget that. the one around his eye. Oh yeah. I didn't see that one, so I'm going to do that gently as well. Gently, gently around. And he's got another one there. Another one here. And again, if your spots are slightly different, it doesn't really matter. Around like that. Another one there. Another one there. And another one there. There he is. So now it's hard time to colour it in. So do you want to do the pink first? Yeah. We'll take turns. We've only got one pink. While well, I do some yellow. So the spots are going to be pink and the rest of him is going to be yellow. And again, we'll speed this up. So press pause while you do your colouring and we do ours. And we'll see you back at the end. So we finished. So there's my Kevin. My Kevin. And your Kevin. So again, I did a giant one. It took me ages to colour in. Whereas Grace is sensible. She did a baby one, so it didn't take her so long. There are so many different ones to do in there. So Grace already said, which one did you want to do? Eugene. Yeah. Eugene Owl. That's one that she wants to do next. But there are so many different ones to do in there. The colouring. A sausage also, dog to draw. There's also this one where you can draw what's in what they've brought to school in the show and oh, tell. Oh, from the show and tell. So if you don't know the story of show and tell, is basically today is show and tell and everyone in class has got to bring something into show. And everyone brings in crazy big things, trying to outdo each other, bring the best thing in. Like but, a dragon. Like a dragon, was one of the dragons. Oh yes, a dragon. But in the end, the best thing wasn't the biggest thing brought in. I won't spoil the ending for you. But here, you can draw all of the different things that they brought in. Um, like the picture. The picture. So you can draw what's in the picture. You can draw what's in the picture. So, so that's a really fun one. Like. Then the final thing to do is a self-portrait and Rob has helpfully shown you how to draw different hair, different eyes, different clothes and shows you how to draw that's your head and that's him. He's drawn himself and it gives you a space that you can draw yours. But it's such a lovely book. Drawing things can seem quite intimidating. You think, oh, I don't know how to draw different things. But Rob breaks it down really simply for different characters and you can then apply that to all of your drawings. So, Draw With Rob by Rob Biddulph. And it says here, anyone can draw. So, we've enjoyed that, haven't we? Yeah. We hope you enjoyed drawing along with us. I would love if you shared your drawings with us. Get your grown-up to take a photo and they can send it over to me. I'll tell you where you can send it. And then we can have a little look, can't we? See how you got on. <sighs> My hand is hurting from all the colouring in. Yeah. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Thank you for drawing with me. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.